Okay, that right there is 21.4 pounds of zucchini. And I only have that many jars left. So I'm going to do what I can and hopefully knock some of them out. No slicing, slicing.
on the table than what I am in the jar. He didn't really want my help. Works for me. Are you doing all of this? Huh? Are you doing those ones? I don't have any more jars. You want me to look downstairs? All right, and there they are in the pressure canner. Uh, they will process at 11 pounds of pressure for 45 minutes. When you put the lid on, you turn on the heat, because right now it's cold jars, cold water. Wait for the steam to come out of this vent steadily, and then time it for 10 minutes. Then after it does, put the lid on, Watch the gauge to come up to 11 pounds of pressure. You control your heat with your um, dial setting on your stove. Uh, turn it down once it comes up to 11 pounds of pressure and keep an eye on it. Then process it for 45 minutes. After that, just shut it off. Don't do anything. Wait till this comes back down to zero. Take your weight off, and your safety lock, lid lock, should be down. And then, and only then, can you open it. And make sure you're opening it away from your face, so that you don't get burnt with the steam. And the reason why mine is cold jars, cold water, is because this is the next day. All right. 
and we'll have canned zucchini. All right, the lid lock is down. The pressure gauge is at zero. I'm gonna take this off. Now it has been sitting here for a while and I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. Ideally you, mm, I hear them popping. Ideally you would wait 10 minutes just to be on the safe side after you take the weight off. All right, but I'm gonna open this. Okay, so we have seven sliced zucchini and ten diced zucchini. And just so you know, zucchini is considered to be a rebel canning process. Now, it's because of the thickness. And I don't like doing slices because of that, but I do them because my husband likes um, fried zucchini. The water needs to be able to come up around them to process of everything right. And when you pack, when you pack them, when you pa uh, are loading your jars with your slices, I like to not stack them like this, but that's how that one ended up. I like to put them in there very, very loosely so the water can get up and around them. But, you know, haven't had any problems so far. But this is like that one too. You can't see it. Yeah, you can see how it's stacked. And I worry about the processing with zucchini. The, the dicing is okay. Uh, if you shred it and don't pack it in there, if you leave it loose, that's fine. This is the one that I get concerned about. But I haven't had any problems with it. So, um, again, do your own research. Uh, find reputable people because there's crazy people out there canning cake. I can't believe that. Anyhow, um, you know, you're if you're going to be um, a rebel canner, then be safe about what you're doing. This, this one scares me, but I'm comfortable enough to try it. Alright, so that's my PSA for today.